Welcome to Tammy's Chin Craft Studios. I really do appreciate all the love and support that I have been receiving from everyone. As you watch this short clip, please be mindful that life has many twists and turns, but how you traverse each twist and turn makes all the difference. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave a comment, and turn on your bell icon so that you can be notified when I upload new content. Be blessed. O oh God in heaven, I give you all the praise, glory and adoration. I thank you Lord for my family, for my husband, and his many exploits each day. Please protect him from evil, and send him more and more business deals. Please cover my husband and home with the blood of Jesus. Protect him from all the wandering eyes women. In Jesus name, Amen. You have not served my breakfast as yet. I'm sorry love. I got caught up with prayers and devotion, that I lost track of time. Let me go and get it now. Do not bother. It is too late now. I am so concerned about my wife. We are both Christians, but she has taken things to another level. I love her, she is beautiful, but all of a sudden, she has been removing all the spice and excitement from our marriage. She has gotten so holy, even the sex is holy. She no longer dresses sexy for me in the house, and it is driving me crazy. Sister Melissa, please remember to be prayerful and put God first in everything. Our general overseer and his wife are depending on us to sow seeds in time, finances and prayer. I will not forget, and I will remind my husband too. I would like to stop by the shopping mall briefly. Okay. What are we doing here? I am getting a surprise for my husband. I am going to purchase the new iPhone 15 Pro Max for him. You are going to do what? But why? All these things are material possessions, and Solomon in the book of Ecclesiastes said, Vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. Why buy such an expensive gift for your husband, when our minister and his wife are trying to gather funds for the church building project? Why not put the money there instead? Besides all these things will fade. I learnt all these things after the death of my husband. It is no use storing up treasures here on earth, when very soon they will all fade away. Maybe you are correct Sister Magdalene, but I can afford to get him an expensive gift, besides he deserves it. No but sister. The money you are about to spend is wasteful, and God will not be pleased with you. Even your mode of dressing, you are not modest. Your skirt is short and you are wearing high heels which expose your legs. Christian women are supposed to be modest in their attire. Maybe you are correct. I will change. I do not want to go to hell. Sir, we did it. We have concluded all the planning and preparations, and now it is time to start building the shopping plaza. Are you serious? And here I was thinking we were behind time. No sir. We were able to complete before the deadline. That is superb. Sir we are all happy. But is there anything else I can get for you sir? Oh honey. You are here. I am sorry that we did not hear you come in. It was not possible for both of you to see or hear me. You were just laughing and having a great time. Honey I am sorry. Ms. Gordon, please excuse us and finalize everything. Make sure there are no mistakes. What are you trying to do? This is a public place, and God said we should be modest with whatever we do. And that includes public show of affection. What? Are you saying that I am not allowed to kiss my legally married wife in my office? It is not proper. God is watching us. Don't you think you are overdoing things? I know that we are fairly new converts, but you seem to have taken things overboard. You are removing all the fun from our marriage. I do not think so, I just want to give God my all, I do not want to do anything to upset him. So what about me? Your husband. See your worker's dress, how short it is? Everything about her is so worldly. Who are you to judge? And there is nothing wrong with her dress. 
and I wish you could start looking like that sometimes. Are you in any way admiring your worker? I am not. She is my worker and I could never stoop that low. Besides the woman I marry is far more beautiful than her. But let's say I am admiring her, can you blame me? Look at you. What is wrong with the way I'm looking? Goodness. This is useless. Anyway, since you never ate this morning, I have taken food for you. And I have to be modest before the Lord. Have you seen the boss's wife recently? She is not looking so good anymore. She is beginning to look like an old lady. Well, I think she has truly decided to take her Christianity seriously. I know. But is Christianity really like that? Why is it that some believers blow things out of proportion, to the point where they start neglecting themselves and those around them? Some people get carried away a lot, especially if they do not surround themselves with the right people. As for me, I am a Christian, but I am not going to lose myself. My Father in Heaven is rich, so I must represent Him well. We give you all the praise, glory and adoration, Lord. Thank you for taking my husband home safely. Bless us with children, Lord. Take care of my overseer and his wife. Provide a husband for Sister Magdalene, Father Lord. Thank you for hearing my prayers. Amen. My goodness, I am so tired. So where are you going dressed like this? To bed, of course. To which bed? In all that clothes. What are you covering up from me, your husband? Honey, let us not fight. I am tired. Tired from doing what? You do not work and we do not have children, so what is making you tired? Besides, I provide everything you need, so why are you tired? I have lots of duties and responsibilities at the church. And worse, we have embarked on one month prayer and fasting. One whole month? How am I supposed to survive? What about my needs? So who did you discuss that with? Isn't this something that we should both discuss on before making such a decision? And then, you are going to start denying me my marital rights. It is just a month. You are not going to die. Oh yes I'm going to die. This is not what the Bible preaches. You shouldn't be making decisions like these without including me. I am happy that we have both decided to serve God, but things are getting out of hand now. And honestly, I do not know how much more I can take. You know what? Let me go and sleep in the other room, because I cannot do this tonight. Seriously, I can't. I am getting tired of this Melissa, and one of these days, I am going to lose it. Alex, I'm losing my wife. What do you mean by you are losing your wife? Every day it is church this and church that. Do not get me wrong, I am happy that she is serious about serving God, but she is forgetting my needs. We do not have fun like we used to, all of her time is devoted to church and church activities. And if that is not enough, she goes on long periods of fasting without consulting me, and that is affecting our sex life. How are we going to make babies under these conditions? My wife used to be sexy inside and out, now you cannot imagine what she looks like in my house, and when we do have some intimate time, it is not as exciting as before. She keeps saying she is to be modest before God. But Hebrews 13, 46 says that marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. That is your right as her husband, and her right as your wife. Nothing should come between that unless you discussed it. That is my point. My wife and I never had these issues until we became a member of the church. Maybe you could try talking to her. Tell her exactly how you feel. Also, maybe try attending a new church. It could be that she is talking to the wrong people. And you think I haven't been trying to do that? I have, but things are getting worse by the day. As for changing churches, that is something to pray about. Have you tried reaching out to her mother? I never thought of that. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. It is almost 10.30 p.m., and my wife is not home from church as yet. There is no food for me to eat, and my home is untidy. I am getting fed up, and I am lonely. She doesn't care about my needs anymore. You are still up. What do you expect? 
It is almost 11 p.m. and my wife is not home. To make matters worse, you did not make anything for me to eat, and my house is untidy. What is happening, Melissa? But you know that I'm fasting, and my church duties keep me busy. Your first duty is to your family. Didn't you read that part in your Bible? <laughs> what is that smell? You never took your shower before leaving. I did, but no perfume or those worldly stuff. I'm the way God wants me to be, all natural. Lord, this is too much for me to bear. You are smelling horrible, Melissa. Mommy, it looks quite festive in here. Yes, your father-in-law and I do not need a special time to celebrate. In fact, we are living our best lives now. You are not looking happy. Is our daughter okay? Are you okay? No mom, I think I am about to lose my mind. What do you mean? Melissa is driving me crazy. Ever since we joined that new church, my wife has turned into something else. She doesn't take care of our home like she used to, she no longer cooks or cleans. Many evenings when I get home from work, there is no food, and she is not home. She decides to go on long periods of fasting and leaves me hanging, and I do not know how much longer I can hold out mom. I love my wife, but she is no longer the woman that I married. Can you believe that she no longer wears deodorant or perfume? What? She says it is worldly and materialistic. It sounds like you are talking about a completely different person. Are you serious about everything you have told me? Yes, Mom. Can you believe that my wife and I have not made love twice since the month started? My goodness. So how are you going to make babies? This is not the way of the Lord, who is she taking counsel from? Serving God is not like this at all. Please have a serious talk with her because very soon, I may just call it quits. I will definitely have a talk with her. Now this is how true child of God should dress. Modest in all ramifications. All these worldly things are tickets to help. I do not want that at all. Anyway, on a more serious note, you know that the church needs more funding, so what will be your sacrificial seed? This seed will unlock all the things you desire. I will have to discuss this with my husband. We do not have separate accounts. Well you need to act fast, because you do not want to miss out on this blessing. Honey, I was thinking that we could say a prayer and... And what? No. As much as I haven't had in a while, I will pass. Not when you look and smell like that. Okay. Suit yourself. Pastor, you requested to see me. Yes. Please have a seat. I believe Sister Magdalene spoke with you concerning the financial needs of the church. Yes, sir. We were wondering if you could sow a sacrificial seed of $10,000. After this seed, more doors and opportunities will come for you and your husband. I also believe that God will bless your family with a child. We have recently concluded our series of prayer and fasting, so this seed will help open up the heavens even quicker. The angels will act on your behalf. Really, Pastor? But you have not asked about my husband? Oh? I forgot. How is he? He is doing well. God has been good to us. And he will do more if you sow that seed. Okay. Honey, I made your favor for breakfast. Interesting. Come and eat. I hope you enjoyed the food. Yes. You were always a great cook. Honey, the church is asking us to sow a sacrificial seed of $10,000. What? Why did they speak to you without me being present? What kind of church is that? Is that why you made me breakfast? Well, my darling wife, the answer is no. If anything, they should have spoken with both of us at once. You are not in authority over me, so how come? But what about our blessings? My answer is no. And that is final. Go and clean up yourself and start smelling good for once.
I need to find a way to get that money. I do not want to lose out on our blessings. You mean my wife? She is at church as usual. At least she made dinner and the house is clean. But the other things are the same. Her mom has promised to come and talk with her. I cannot wait, because I need my wife back, and I do not want to cheat. I am a Christian but I have needs, which she is not fulfilling. Thank alert. Ten thousand dollars. Alex. Let me call you back. Something just came up. So she defied my orders and took the money. This is the height of it. In all my years of being married, my wife has never been so disobedient and dishonest. This is it for me. I need a divorce, Melissa, and you need to leave my house. Why? What have I done? Are you seriously going to stand there and pretend as if you have done nothing? The ten thousand dollars, you went and took the money without my permission. But I didn't want to lose our blessings. Pastor said the seed will open up doors for our blessings, he said it will give us children. How are we going to have children, if we do not perform our marital duties? But I am done talking. This is my last straw and I am never going back to that church. And you need to leave my house first thing tomorrow morning. I'm tired of everything anyway. I am done. So you allowed your husband to chase you away from the house. Was this how we raised you? Have you ever seen me deny your father of anything? Do you think this is how true Christians behave? And which church teaches these ungodly things? You have some explaining to do. But mommy, I thought I was doing what the Bible said. Sister Magdalene and pastor said that this is how a righteous woman of God should behave. I sowed the money for us. Are you listening to yourself? How can taking money without your husband's permission be honored before God? You denied your husband all his rights, and the Bible does not teach that. Who is Sister Magdalene by the way? My sister in Christ. Was she the one telling you all these things? Yes, Mum. So you do not have enough sense to read and search the scriptures for yourself? You are taking counsel from individuals who are as blind as you are. And you never consulted me about anything. Each time, you would tell me everything is all right. Now your husband has ran you from his house. Did you know that what you did was stealing? Also, I must speak with you and Sister Magdalene. Now get up off my coach, get a bath, change those ragged clothes, and then we can talk. You smell like old water boots. Get out. Yes, mommy. I am this close to cheating Alex. I understand, but God would not be pleased. Why don't you go back for your wife and come with her to my church? Give that a try, and if all that fails, you are free to divorce her. I cannot say that I blame you for your actions, maybe I would have done the same thing, but cheating doesn't solve anything. It only exacerbates the problem. Please give what I am saying a try. I am so sorry for misleading you. I honestly thought what I was doing was right. Not until your mom decided to do a series of Bible studies with us. It is so important for you to search the scriptures for yourself, and make sure that what you do lines up with God's word. I think we were both misled, and I made things difficult for my husband. Christianity doesn't mean you should stop being a wife, actually, it should make you a better wife. I definitely agree. I think my actions were blocking my blessings. I will see you soon. Hello sir. My name is Sister Magdalene, and I was directed here to speak with Mr. Marcus. He stepped out for a minute, I am his friend Alex, would you like to wait for him? Yes sir. It is urgent. I will get him for you, but, can you give me a few minutes of your time when you are through? How may I be of assistance to you? Sir, I am Melissa's friend and church sister. I was the one misleading her. I take full responsibility for everything. Please go back and get your wife sir, she is truly sorry. We were both misled, and as of now, I am looking for a new place of worship. Thank you. Anything else? No sir. Do not be afraid. But, if you do not mind, my friend would like to have a word with you. 
He is waiting in the lounge. My secretary will take you to him. That is if you are not in a hurry. Okay. I hope there is no problem. Go and find out for yourself. Mommy, you are beautiful. Where are you two going? Well, your dad and I still have date nights. As old as we are, we try to do fun things to keep our marriage current and exciting. Do not get me wrong, you know that we have had problems, but we are always finding ways to work out our differences, and on rare occasions, we invite a third party into our marriage or relationship. And that is what you should aim for. Your first ministry is to your husband, and then the church. Do not forget that. Thank you, Mommy. My parents. What did they forget this time? Or are they back already? Marcus. Now this is the woman I married. I'm taking you home. Just like that. Don't you need an explanation or apology or something? What about my parents? We will do all the talking later or tomorrow. But for now, you are coming with me. And your parents are in full support. They are tired of you, and want you gone like yesterday, because they need their privacy back. Thank you Jesus for restoring my marriage. My husband, I am very very sorry for everything. <laughs>